All right, we're going to start our day off as usual with the Flying Lions. Did you push record? Yeah, okay, you did. Yeah. That volume is, oh, okay, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah. We worked on the volume thing. It just, it may go in and out. I think, I think okay. it's an internet thing. Okay. Always like that part. That part would probably be with MP3 forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can leave y'all footprint yep. too. We'll, we'll create some things. Hey, I want to share something with you guys real quick before we get started. Okay. Do you guys remember last week how Ms. Cummings was talking about paying it forward and things that you could do to like help your community, you know, and, and things like that? And we got to talk about how cars pay it forward. Do you remember that, Wayne and Isaiah? Do you remember the conversation I'm talking about? Hmm? Emmanuel, put your game up. Put your game up, Emmanuel. Listen to what I'm saying. Well, I just wanted to tell you, Mariana, I can't see you. I just wanted to tell you guys, after we got off um, of our Zoom meeting yesterday, we had 16 cars pay it forward in our drive through in a row. That is like a record anywhere. Wow. But they just kept coming through and we were sharing how, we were telling them how the cars are headed in, you know, like if it was a gap or something, we would tell them how the cars ahead of them have paid it forward and everybody just continued to do it. We took count and I mean, we, I might be off one or two, but it was between 14 and 16, definitely. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's, there's some good going on out there. <laughs> I mean, and it's just a beautiful thing, you know. It was some black people, white people. It was one of the Chinese dudes that come all the time, you know. And it was just a beautiful thing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys since we just had that conversation last week. That's awesome. And I and I, and I was talking. I was telling some of them about the conversation that we had had last week with my third grade MP3 class, and you know what I'm saying. And they just continued to do it. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Wayne, put your game up. Ms. Richie told you put that game up already. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. All we asking is about an hour of your time. You you can make that time. We'll do some things, try to have some fun, then you get right back to it. It ain't going nowhere. All right, so next we're gonna move on to you guys know what's next? What do we do every day? What do we believe in? What do we say every day? What do we start? Yep, that is exactly right. We get into our pledge because that is how we live. <laughs> I'm trying to get this menu bar out of my AC. I'm 
Is that good? Mom, why aren't you on Zoom? Oh, oh, never mind. I forgot. You don't teach Zoom. It looks like you. Just a second, guys. I don't know why this menu bar is moved over. There we go. I commit myself to a dream, a dream that requires me to goal set and to study enthusiastically. I must eliminate negative attitudes and believe that I can do anything. It will not only open many doors for me, but its expectations will develop me into being a successful member of my family, my school, and my community. As I work toward my dreams, I am aware that I must not only think of myself within the dream, but I must be determined to reach back and take along those that are within my reach. I must humble myself with the knowledge that my talents are a gift that need to be developed and nurtured so that their strength will not only assist myself to prosper, but my school and my community as well. Together, we make a true partnership for success. Right. What does that pledge mean to you? We had a chance to go about uh, go over this a little bit yesterday, but everybody had the Monday blues. Said I'll give you a little time to think about it. So now, does anybody have any comments on what that pledge means to them? How about you, Wayne? Where you at, Wayne? Y'all need to stay in the camera. He went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Who else we got? Elijah. What's that pledge mean to you? Well, I have some thoughts on the pledge today. Okay. I actually made a post on social media yesterday, you know, with all this school stuff going on and I don't know if you know this, but I actually just signed McKinley up for virtual learning her first nine weeks of middle school. And it was a very torn, you know, I was very torn because McKinley wants to go to middle school for her first year. I have to think about, you know, wearing a mask all day and you know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's just a lot involved. But I got to thinking yesterday how, you know, when we come out of this just as a community and as a school, you know, how we'll probably be stronger and better, you know, when it's done and over with. But it takes us, you know, that's, it takes like, it's going to take a whole village, you know, a whole community to get these kids through, you know, at least the beginning of this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting here freaking out myself, thinking how, I'm, how is McKinley going to be successful when I work every morning and I sign her up, you know what I'm saying? But I'm realizing that, you know, it's a partnership between me, the school, other parents, you know what I'm saying, in my community. And it's just gonna take us all trying to pull through, you know, pull pull together and get these kids, you know, successful. And even us and the teachers and the staff, you know, and it's so many people involved. And you know, and I'm a little nervous on how it's all gonna work out, but I guess, you know, when you have a whole village behind you, you know, um, I guess anything is possible. Yeah. And that's <laughs> That's a good point because all of this is new to a lot of people. It's new to me. It's, it's new to the students. I mean, because we're, we're all going to have to get through this together because everybody's going to struggle. There's going to be some things that some people can do well and some things that other people don't do well. And you got to lean on people that does the things you, you don't do well to, for help. And then there's going to be a time where there's things that you do. Somebody's going to need to lean on you. So that, that's what it's all about right there. You know, coming together as a community. So anytime you got an issue, like even in your own neighborhood, neighbors who, neighborhoods have to pull together and take care of uh, different issues in their neighborhood. So <laughs> that's a good point, Ms. Richie. All right. How many of you guys feel like you're different in some kind of way? I know I feel like I'm different in some kind of way. 
And hopefully everybody feels like they're different in some kind mm -hmm. of way because everybody is different. And if everybody was the same, it'd be kind of boring. It'd be kind of a drag. So we're going to get into uh, talking about what it feels like to be different. Uh, well, we got two new people coming in. Okay. Who this is. Hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> hey, lady. Glad you guys made it. Welcome. We tried a thousand times. And they came and got online and they're full of smiles. That's what I like right. to see. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come here, Coco. Well, we just got done. We did our, our uh we did our flying lions chant and we did our pledge and we were just talking about uh different things the pledge means to different people and how it takes a community of people to pull together to help out with different situations. Now we were just getting into talking about what it feels like to be different. Do you guys feel like you're different? What? Reese, do you feel like you're ever different? No. No? No. no. Everybody is different. Everyone should feel different in some kind of way because nobody is exactly the same. And there are sometimes. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll tell you something different about me that some, of, that some of you guys already know, but I don't eat green candy. Like, I've never met anybody besides myself, but I do not. Ever since I was a little girl, I have not liked green candy. It's just something about candy being green just doesn't sit right with me and I just won't eat green candy. Kind of like that with, uh, I don't really like peach flavored stuff. I love oh. peaches and I love like peach cobbler, but I don't like peach pop and I really don't like peach candy. It's just something about it. It don't, it don't work with me. But there's all different kind of ways you guys can be different. You can be different in a physical way. You can be different you know, in the way that you think, but everybody's different in some kind of way. And you should never uh, try to hide your differences because that's what makes you unique. Everybody wants to be uh, the same a lot of times. We don't want everybody being the same, trying to be like each other. We want everybody to be who they are and let whoever you are shine. Never <laughs> your differences. Really, Layla? <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're gonna get into our story. Okay. I'm just get our community talk. Exactly. Yes, I can do that. I did it. Well, no, I can't no more. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Told you none of us can do it no more. This is Murray Monster with a special report. Did you know you're special? I'm going to draw on a screen on the ocean. Special in our own way. Come on. Hey, why don't everybody mute? Everybody mute their mic. Everybody mute your mic. Hey, what's your name? Scarlet. Okay. Question. Um, what makes you special? Well, I can count to ten in Mandarin Chinese. You can count to ten in Mandarin? Yeah. May I see that? Yeah. Go ahead. E, R, Sun, S, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jiu, Shi. Wow! Counting to ten in Mandarin is so special! Now, over to my special friend, Olahita. Especial! <laughs> That's right, Olahita. Now, let's see more about what makes people special. Hey, where are you? See ya. I see ya. See ya. 
special? See, what makes you special? Well, I'm an animal lover, mm -hmm. and Happy is my middle name. Happy is your middle name, and you love animals. Super special. Hey, Veer, what makes you special? I have a very special dog, and I'm kind. You are kind, and you have a special dog. Totally special. Oh, wait a minute. Something special is happening right now. Let's go live. No, you are okay. Special makes you feel good about yourself. Being special makes you feel proud. Let's hear some more about what makes people feel special. Hi, what's your name? I'm Anna. Hi, Anna. What makes you special? I dance. You like to dance? Yeah. What kind of dancing do you do? Hip hop. Whoa! Hip hop dancing! That's super special! Now, let's go to Ovejita. Um, it seems special things are happening all over the place. We better check it out. I just want to say I love Sesame Street, but I want to, who is scribbling on the screen? That was so distracting, and it's so disrespectful, and I wish you guys wouldn't do that. I'm already having a hard time hearing, so if you're making it hard for me to see, then it's hard for me to concentrate on what's going on. Yeah. That was it. I'm I sorry. Can, next time, I'm, I'm just going to turn those off. Um, we we we've already have been through that. You guys know you're not supposed to draw on the screen. I can turn those off, but there's like activities where I'm going to try to give you an opportunity to use those tools. And if I turn them off, I ain't exactly sure I can get them back on because I'm new at this. So we may not be able to do those activities if you guys draw on the screen. I have to turn those tools off. So keep that in mind. Be respectful. You'll have time to use those tools. I'll try to create some activities where you guys get a chance to use those all right talking about being different <clears throat> now that you've heard uh different people say how they're different and their talents how do you guys have any talents what, what can you do like that one guy he he started beatboxing and he was popping and i was like man that he that was different but that was cool anybody else got any cool different talents out there that you want to show us yeah, you do. Erise, I know you got some cool hidden talents. No. Y'all right, just got to get warmed up. But all of you, everybody has different talents and different things that makes them unique. And we want you guys to be proud of those things and we want to see them. Don't be ashamed of them. I'm good at sports. You're good at sports? What, good, what sports are you good at? All of them? Baseball, basketball, and football. Oh man, you got what? Well, what's your favorite position in football? What do you want to play? Running, running, running back. back. What about baseball? Uh, what do you? What's your position in baseball? I don't know. You don't know. You just like to hit. Are you a good hitter? Yes. Yep, you can play baseball if you can hit the ball. Anybody else? Mariana, I know you got some talents. Can you please sit up? Do you draw? Do you paint? What do you like to do with your with your spare time? Because chances are, guys, whatever you do a lot, that's a talent. Because if you do it a lot, that's kind of like practice. And if you're practicing all the time, you're going to get better at something. That's why we go to school, we practice doing stuff over and over and over because we're going to get better at it. So, video games. If you're playing video games every day, 
Well, I like to do arts and crafts, me and Mikey, as we like to like refurbish things. And um, like this summer, we've been on uh, YouTube, and you know, they have like this YouTube channel that's like a Dollar General, like refurbished things. And we went up there and got a couple of signs, and we actually made my friend's grandma a couple of signs for her yard out of the like metal Dollar General signs, and we like repainted them and put her last name on one and then her address number on the other. <laughs> and she thought it was like the best thing ever and he ended up being like a three dollar gift <laughs> <laughs> yep and i i would say that is a talent of yours because i've seen some of you and mckinley's projects and i mean <laughs> you whip those out like it ain't nothing because y'all do them all the time i guess so you mm -hmm. become good we just like to try new things and do new things you know think outside the box i'm not a big tv watcher myself you know i like to have my kids create and then and you know are outside doing something and by the way just to let you guys know you know a lot of times i don't even buy things we use to, we use things that we have like we have um we've cut up cereal boxes we've um used like cracker boxes you know just as cardboard like you don't your parents do not have to necessarily go and buy things i mean We've used um, lids and bottle cap tops and, you know, all kinds of things and made little, I don't know, minions or, you know, <laughs> toilet paper people, toilet paper roll people, you know, and all kinds of things. So, um, you know, that's just an idea for you guys to stay, um, you know, active and thinking this summer. It's always fun to create things and, you know, make new things. Yep, I agree. Um, there's there's certain members in my family that are good at those things. I wouldn't say that I'm good at them, but I like to participate in them. When, once they, you know, present something and I see how, how they're doing it, then I'm like, oh, that's cool. Let me do that. Yeah. But as far as just coming up with it, I'm not good at coming up with them and doing and creating them, but I'm good at participating in them. <laughs> All right. I think it's that time, Ms. Richie. Time for one of those brain breaks. Which one are you playing? They never let me pull up the lesson plan, so I'm kind of lost over here. Which, oh, you know, I man. forgot you said that. Um, but that's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. My thing fell out. It's okay. I don't mind being surprised. Surprise me. I can't <laughs> dance. I can't do any of the dances, so it doesn't even matter. Just surprise me. We're going to work it on out. <laughs> Well, everyone should be familiar with this song because this is a song that a lot of people like. And as a lion, a long fellow lion, we do a lot of roaring. And so our brain break is roar. Already pushing off the dust. You hear my voice, you hear 
Uh, Miss Richie is outdoing you guys. You guys going to let Miss Richie outdance you? We're supposed to be old. I can't do all the hopping. <laughs> Tired. All right, Miss Richie, you was roaring. <laughs> was I? <laughs> you was getting it. I was like, oh. <laughs> I thought you said you couldn't dance. Okay, okay, just stop now. <laughs> yeah. hey, you at home practicing last night? <laughs> you so silly. <laughs> <laughs> he he on me, Mariana. He is on me. <laughs> <laughs> you was moving. I almost started freestyling for y'all because you know we sing that song a lot at home. And I got my own moves for that song, but I didn't want to, you know, they already seemed like they was a little nervous to get with me up there. You know, I didn't want to make them more nervous. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, they we got we have to get them moving because I I didn't see I didn't see most of them dance. I know they can dance. Mm -hmm. They just kind of shy. It must be the whole uh the Zoom thing. But I'm sure if we had them all together, they they usually get to they get to jamming too. Mm -hmm. All right, we were been we have been talking about being different and the, talking about how being the same all the time is kind of boring which to me it is, if we came to school and everybody had to wear uniforms and everybody had to be the same, it'd be a kind of a drag, wouldn't it? If everybody had to be the same. It'd kind of be like, you know, the world being in black and white, black, black and white as opposed to color. You know, everybody has a different flavor that they're gonna have. So our story today is talking about uh, being different. And, and what if everybody was the same? What if we were all the same by CM Harris? What if they were exactly the same? Our houses, our cars, and everything. That's less. No meat, no sweet, no sweet. We're having like a really hard time hearing that, Mr. Brown. Are you? I haven't heard any of it yet. Or no meat at all. Some have two legs, four legs, or none, but they're different how to make is it just real faint or is it going in and out again it's just real well it's kind of going in and out but all of it is like really faint we can't make out any of it yeah it's even kind of going out on my end too a little bit here okay. james hmm. No. I 
I'm gonna have to improvise here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of read that. My eyes, are, my eyes are all the way gone, so I'll just kind of read this as she's going through it. Just kind of start it over. Exactly the same. Our houses, our cars, and even the stuff. So, that's, oh. what if every, what if everything were exactly the same? Our houses, our cars, and even our, and even the stars. <laughs> what if we're all the same? No meat, no sweets, just cheese. What if we're all? What if? What if the food were all the same? No meat, no sweets, just beets. Ugh. Anybody like beets? I say yeah, but I mean, Me. if you like beets, and if you like beets, that's that's fine. I just I like meats. You like beets? Me too. Oh, well, good for you. I don't, but I'm glad you do. <laughs> It says animals aren't all the same, giving them each quite a unique name. Some are big and some are small, and some have feathers or no fur at all. Some have legs, four legs or none, but their difference helped them help the world more fun, which is true. I mean, if all the animals were the same and all the insects were the same, if everything was the same when you looked outside, how fun would that be? Who would go bird watching or who would go, you know, if you like collecting insects or looking at insects, who would want to look at those if they were all the same all the time? People come in different shapes and sizes. That's what makes us full of many surprises. We can have short hair, long hair, or no hair at all. Some can be really short, while others are very tall. People come in different shapes and sizes. That's what makes, makes us full of many surprises. We can have short hair, long hair, or no hair at all. Some could be really short, some could be really short or others are really very tall. And we see that every day. We see short people, tall people. I mean, that's what makes the world fun. We can be friends with all types of people and see all the amazing things each of us brings. Everyone is unique in more ways than one. And that's what makes everything fun. Different is good. Different is exciting. Anything else would be uninviting. Oh, we can be friends with all types of people. And, and, we, we, and we see all the amazing things each of us brings. Everyone is unique in more ways than one, and that's what makes everything fun. Difference is good. Different is exciting. Anything else would be uninviting. We come in different lengths and also have different abilities and strengths. Some take a hike and like a bike. While some can't use their legs and use a walking aid, they can still be made, and new friends can be made. We come in different lengths, and we also have different abilities and strengths. Some take a hike, and some like to bike. While we can't, while we can't use, oh, let's see. While some can't use their legs for walking at all, they will play and they will, and new friends 
can be made. Okay, I think I read that wrong. I'm having a hard time seeing that page. Even though we may have different hair, eyes, and skin, we can all be friends and change how things have even though we have many, many different hair, eyes, and skin, we can all be friends and change how things have been. So everyone should be able to relate to that. I mean, when you guys go to school every day, I see some of you are like at a, a center or something. Look around, see how many different types of people there are. Nobody looks exactly the same, just like when you go to school. But even just because we look different, doesn't mean we can't all have one common goal, which is to uh, change the world for the better. Different can be wonderful and even quite colorful. Different is certainly beautiful. Anything else would be unsuitable. Difference can be wonderful and even quite colorful. Difference, certainly beautiful. Anything else would be unsuitable. If we were all the same, you're going to hate me Make sure you mute your, mute your mics. If we were all the same, don't you think it'd be lame? Yeah. You may be different from those around hey, but remember. Not the, the, the age of unmute herself, but so she can sing. Yeah, everybody needs to stay on the camera and mute your mics. We need to see everybody's faces. Your beautiful face cannot be replaced and all of our differences can be embraced. What are some amazing differences that can be found in you? Your beautiful face can't be replaced and all our differences should be embraced. What are some amazing differences that, that can be found in you? The end. All right. So what are some diff what are some differences now that can be embraced by you? Mariana, what's different about you that you embraced? Come on, Mariana. Oh, okay. Now we can hear you. I don't know. You don't know? What's, di what's different about you? Do you look the same as everybody else? Do you act no. the same as everybody else? No. Wait, I do. So what's different about you? Anybody else? Well, it took me a long time to embrace my super thick eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Swag milk. Yeah, there's there's something different about everybody, and you should embrace it. Don't don't hide it, because that's what makes you unique from everybody else. And so the fact the fact that I know that everybody knows there's something different about them, but since you're not saying it, that means you're still not comfortable with what's different about you. You have to learn to embrace that. Once you start embracing it and letting it out. To, what was that, Isaiah? I sleep with stuffed animals. Do you? 
<laughs> See, there's something different about Isaiah. He's embraced it, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Anybody else got anything different about them that they do or that the way they look that you embrace? All right, well, y'all y'all think about it because there's, there's something different about you. And as soon as you embrace it, then you can let us know. Because we want you to embrace that. We want to know your differences and because it's, it's all a talent. All right, it's that time again, Ms. Richie. And this time is gonna be, oh, I wanna see everybody up and moving on this one. Cause we're gonna jump. You might work up a sweat on this one, Ms. Richie. I can't do the jumping, so I'm going to do it from my feet, but I'll do, that. I'll do all the upper body movements. <laughs> NTV, new television, 24 hours a day on cable TV. No, wait, it's not on cable TV. It's online at gonoodle.com or on the Go Noodle app. Check it. They came alive on that one, Ms. Richie. <laughs> <laughs> they did all the jumping for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> got some huffing and puffing going on that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good. That was fun, though. That was fun. Yeah. Was I would agree. But that, that was hard work. Ms. Richie, that's a good one from Amen. yesterday. I'm glad the sound didn't go out because you guys would have fun on those too. One. <laughs> you may. Do, do another one. Wait. Carson, did you join? All right. So we're going to play a game now. Uh, a game? 
This game is going to be called What in a Word. And what uh, happen, I'm going to have a word. Hold on, hold on. I can't hear you. Somebody needs to hear you. I can't hear Mr. Brown talking. I can't hear Mr. Brown talking. Wayne, mute your mic. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. I didn't hear anything you said. Oh, okay. No problem. This game is called Word Within a Word. I'm going to put a word on the screen, and your job is to come up with as many words as you can from using the same letters from that word. Everybody understand that one? Are we just going to type our answers in the chat box? Yeah, you can just put your answer. Yes. In. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. No. Who said no? Reese. Okay. No. No, the angel. Okay. Oh, I did it. Put a word on the board. I did it. And from that word, use the same letters and try to create any other word. We're going to do this. We're going to beat you up. Deasia, can you please mute your mic? Yeah, Deasia. All right. You guys ready for the word? The word is. Let's change the color. Let's go with black. The word is. Crown. How many words can you make up from the word crown? We'll give you about crab. One or two minutes. Crab. Now. One. Own. Rat. Cat. Mr. O. Where's the Nazi? I hear. I don't know if you see. I don't know if you see my answers, but I did ignore. No, because I was seeing you text. She got a text because somebody was texting. My stomach. Unmute. That's better. The age of. Who was good? I've seen on, I've seen crap. Can you move yours? All right. Did you guys see no, what no. We'll, we'll okay. kind of take turns and see what words everybody came up with. Cow. All right, let's, let's start with Mariana. Mariana, what's one word you get? I'll get first. She... Everybody just kind of take a turn and name one word that you come up with, and we'll see you until we run out. All right, who wants to go first? Just say a word. Mariana had a really good one. Oh, okay. Okay. Mariana, what word did you come up with? Mariana always goes first. Crow and Juan. Crow and what? Juan. Juan. Okay. Wayne. Yep. Excellent. Wayne, did you come up with any other words other than crow and Juan? Clown. Did you say clown? Yeah. All right, we're gonna need we're gonna need an L in there for clown to work. 
I don't see it. No. They said it. Got any other words? No. All right, anybody else? Who's next? Anybody else got a word other than Ari All right, Ariana, what you got? Where's Ariana? Ariana. Who is I think Ariana? he meant Aries. I think he meant Aries. <laughs> oh, you read? I know you meant yeah. <laughs> what? what? Okay. okay. Um, cow. Cow. Yep. Who's next? Who's got another word? Mm. Another word different word. Okay. What you got? Now. now. On. No. no. Ooh. Just say your word, Deasia. She got no. Did somebody say no? She said no. Oh, no. Yep. How about nor? And. I'm just kidding. A meal. Yep. N O R nor. Cut. In. In. On. Cat. Road. Road. No. Whip. Not. Not. I don't see a T. We need a T for not. All right. Man, that was awesome. You guys rocked on that. <laughs>